Today's Gospel, Tuesday, July 12, is from St. Matthew chapter 11, verse 20 to 24. Jesus began to reproach the towns where most of his mighty deeds had been done, since they had not repented. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon on that day of judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. The Gospel of the Lord Today's faithful reflection is from Brother Egay Paulate of the Pag-ibig sa Diyos Catholic Community. Curses and Blessings Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! Matthew's Gospel seems to present God as a harsh person, ready to mercilessly punish sinners. But no, it is important to know that God, apart from being merciful and loving, is also just and capable of giving us not only His blessings, but His wrath as well. We should never disregard God's warning to mete out His justice for our disobedience because He will be true to His word. How exactly do we disobey God? St. Paul listed some in his epistle to the Galatians, namely adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murderers, drunkenness, revelings. Those who do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Galatians chapter 5, 19 to 21. If we suspect curses in our lives, we must seek the help of the Holy Spirit to search and reveal possible disobedience hidden in the recesses of our heart. Unless we know, we risk being disobedient. Let us thank the Holy Spirit for convicting us of our sins, repent for them, and obey God by listening to His Word. And all these blessings, instead of curses, shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 2. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, soften my heart as you lead me in the ways of truth and righteousness. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.